All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one here. Now, I know it's been two weeks, but I need to just talk about it. Uh, Evo, yes. Evo 2024. I just want to share my experience. It was a blow up, okay? I've been going to Evo now for like 10 plus years. This was the only time I had a negative experience. It stunk. So I want to talk about it and just so I don't forget and learn from my lessons. So, yeah, so I just want to share my trip. Uh, more more than that, though, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear how everyone enjoyed their Evo. So leave a comment. I know there are a lot of people, uh, first-time viewers. I actually met a couple people as well. Sorry, I was only down there for a very short time. But I met a couple people. So if I met you there, thanks for saying what's up. Uh, hopefully next year, I'll be down there a little bit longer. Anyway, here we go. So Evo this year, I was very, very excited. So I got uh, the offer. I was going to do Grand Blue Commentary and Strive. And I was going to do Strive Top 6. So I was scheduled to do the the finals. It's gonna be me and Ringe down there on the big stage. Very very exciting stuff, right? Uh, so day one, put the dog in the pet hotel. You know, uh, my my little baby, my daughter went hang out with grandma. I get on my flight. I'm actually on uh, the they they booted me up to the premium economy. I have the exit row. You know, everything's coming up, Juna. Seems like a great trip. And this is where things start getting a little bit weird. So I'm sitting on the aisle, across the aisle, on the other side, is this old Chinese dude, okay? Now, someone, someone's fishy with this guy, I'll say that. So he comes in there, he takes his, his shoes off, takes his socks off, so he's got his feet, you know, kind of just spread out there. He takes his belt off, unbuttons his pants, rolls up his, his shirt, so his, his belly's like kind of hanging out there. I was like, ooh, okay, this, this is a little bit weird, but he's over there, just minding a little business, not bothering me. Then uh, old dude starts coughing. Old dude starts coughing, sneezing. His wife, after the meals, is giving him like medicine and pills. He was stand. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. See, he was standing up, walking around. We were in the, the economy section. He was walking up to like the business section, like going through the gates to use the bathroom. He was a beast. He did not care. But anyway, I was like, all right, that was weird. He's not bothering me though. So we get to Vegas, check in the hotel. The first day was really cool. Uh, I got a, after we got there, I, a guy, man, a guy named Bobby came out. We saw Obama, I think Ken, Ray. So I got to meet everybody at least once, right? We hung out. We said, oh, this weekend's going to be really good. We had a good chat and everything. Next day, batch pickup day. I'm feeling, uh, you know, I'm feeling a little bit washed from the travel, but nothing too bad. So we get my badge, come back. We hang out again. Da -da -da. Evo starts Friday. Okay. Now the big show comes down there. So this is the day I met a couple of you guys. Like I said, uh, I saw like Yipes, Stacy, Steve. I said, what's up to everybody? It was pretty fun. Uh, but I felt a little, you know, you feel that little tingle in your throat a little bit. So I felt that. It was fine. I did a little bit of grand book commentary and everything. Go back to the room. Go to bed. Day two, I wake up. I don't wake up, sorry. Day two, I don't sleep. I pass off like an hour. I wake up. I'm, I'm done. It, you know when you get sick and it just hits you? So I'm up at like 2 a.m. I'm like, oh shit, I'm sick, right? So I stay up from 2 until like 6, 7. I didn't want to message him too early, but as soon as I hit like 7 or 8, I forget. I think it was 7, right? I messaged the, the people in charge. I'm like, yo, I'm sick. I should not, like, I shouldn't be down there. Like, if I go down and get everyone else sick, let me stay in my room. The, the management came back and said, get down there. Get down there and do your job. So this, this is where I was like, oh man, this weekend's gonna be a blow up, okay? So they told me to go down there. Even though I'm sick, it's fine. You know, I shower, I get dressed. I have a mask. So I put on a mask. I go down there. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a rough, a rough weekend. I get down there. I walk to the contract booth at what, like 9, 9.30 in the morning. And who do I see sitting in on the table? Old Sajan. Old Sajan right there. I walk. I'm like, it's you? It's me and you are doing it? And he's like, he looks at me. What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Are you all right? I'm like, I'm sick. I'm sick, bro. He's like, if you're sick, I'm not doing it. So shout out to Sage Man. He put he put his foot down right away. He was like, if you're sick, I'm not doing it. He's like, I'm doing it solo. Like, go up to your room. I was like, I can't. They told me to come down there. So Sage Jam called up. He's like, I'm not doing it. He told told the management and everybody, like, look, like, I don't want to get sick. He had a, you know, he's a busy guy, a lot of stuff going on, on the weekend and everything. Now, the problem is, I don't know why they thought this. I don't know why they thought this, but the guy that told me to get down there and work. Bro, apparently he thought I was just partying. He thought I was like 
Because, you know, it's Las Vegas, right? He thought I was, like, drinking or partying the night before. Bro, I was sick. Why would he think that? I'm I'm hurt. I'm hurt. But, no, I, I was 100% honestly very, very sick. Uh, luckily, after Sejab's call, we had a different production guy come over here. He took one look at me. He just heard my voice, like, get up to your room right now. Shout out to Seg. Just go back to your room. I was like, all right. So, Saturday, all day in my room. Sunday, all day in my room. I left Monday, 10 days back in Japan. It's been 10 days. You hear me? You hear me coughing too? I'm still sick, but luckily I can talk now, right? At least I can speak. I'm almost done. I couldn't. I came back here. I was coughing like a madman. I had a fever. I had a fever the whole time. I couldn't speak at all. Absolute disaster. And that's it. That's my story. That was my trip. I need to just remember it. So even though I was stuck in my room, it wasn't a bad. Evo was pretty cool. You know, it was our first year at the convention center. I like the Mandalay. I prefer the Mandalay because it was more centralized, but Evo's grown way too big, right? So the convention center was a good, a good size, but I saw you guys getting blown up on Sunday. I couldn't go down there, but I saw the lines, the photos of the lines to get into the finals arena. That seemed like a blow up, but there was like casuals and everything too. As a stream monster too, watching from my room, the advertisements i'll say the commercials were better than last year okay the advertisements were not that bad but just someone was playing rock paper scissors for like 45 minutes so i feel like they just tricked me right i feel like instead of getting instead of getting like twitch ads i had irl ads so hopefully maybe next year we could get that lowered maybe like i don't know somebody could could purchase that as for the matches themselves Strive was really fun, you know? I, I, I was supposed to do Strive. Strive was really exciting. Shout out to Nitro, man. And New York City, you win again. Strive was really good. Tatsum as well, the second player, uh, second place finish was really good. Tekken, I'm sorry, Tekken's pretty boring. Arslan is just too good. Five in a row. Pakistan versus Pakistan. It's kind of like early on Tekken 7 was really boring because it was Korea versus Korea. It was JDCR Saint like all the time. Then we had, okay, wait a second. Hold on. Pakistan versus Korea with a new story. And now it's back to where we started. And that's just Pakistan, Pakistan every time. We need Tekken needs some new blood. We need a new story there. Third strike, of course. Highlight of the weekend, I think, for everybody, right? High out. Even with the high out, third strike is really fun, but high out put it over the top. People calling it Evo Mode 38. That was godlike. Street Fighter 6. I don't like Ed. So like I didn't like the Ed matches, but everything else was exciting. And Punk winning, especially the grand finals, like final game, final round. After reset with the jump in, that, that was like that was pretty godlike. So I, I think I think the Evo match is really good. That's always, that's really exciting too, because like the matches are out of control. If you're a production crew, you can make the event happen and be a good event. You have no control over the matches. It's up to the players to put on a show and like maybe get lucky too. And I think we got lucky with really good matches this year. The reveals, the the biggest L, like the only reveal, like Hayachi, like I don't really, that's cool he's back. I don't really care. The biggest, the Terry, like who was that? Was that Terry? Was that Terry in that video? When he looked at the camera, I was like, who was that? Who was that dude right there? When he stared at the camera with that, that weird smile, I was like, who is this guy? But the biggest that was Strive, man. I feel like, I feel like Strive was incredible. I feel like the Strive trailer was amazing. If I saw that live, if I saw Strive live, I would have been like, holy crap, that's amazing. But Strive got leaked like 12, 13 hours earlier. I was in, I was in the fever dream, right? I was jet lagged, fever dream. I woke up, I checked my phone at like 7 a.m. or something. I look at Discord and I see just like a picture of Lucy and it says Strive Season 4 trailer. I was like, oh, you know, that's a funny troll. Some troll made something. I clicked it. I was like, wait a second. This this looks real. And I was like, wait, this is real. So like that was the hypest trailer of the weekend, I think. And it just they ruined it. But damn, that, that stinks. The Evo announcements of the new like France. Nice is cool. Singapore is cool. The award show is weird, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Anyway, like I said, I don't really have much to share. It was just a terrible experience for me. Uh, while I was locked in my room, I, dude, I was getting like Uber Eats. I was paying like fifty dollars for like lunch, and then you put that into yen. I was getting the sodas were six dollars. I was getting a six dollar diet coke. That's a full Yoshinoya meal out here for a damn soda. I, I don't I forget I don't want to think about it. yes if I ever go back to Evo if I if I'm not like on a blacklist now and I get invited back to Evo 
I learned my lesson this year. From the moment I step out my door, I'm masking up. If I'm not working, I'm hiding. I'll wait until like Sunday, the after the the after the event, I'll come down and say what's up to everybody. But it it was horrible, man. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to just get this done. This is official. I'm free. I'm free from this this horrible two weeks. How was your Evo? Like I said, I wanted to meet a lot of you guys. I, the people I did speak to, a lot of them said it was their first Evo. So how was it? You know, I saw a lot of positive feedback. I think overwhelmingly, a lot of people really enjoyed this year. So I want to hear how was it? If it's first time, did it meet your expectations? Was it bigger, better? Did you meet a lot of people? Did you meet a, did you get Say Jam's autograph? What was the highlight of your trip? Highlight of my trip? I, actually, I, I tweeted out. Let me show you my highlight before we go. All right, here it is. The highlight of my trip, it wasn't a complete L. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that absolute masterpiece. I can just taste it. Look at that photo. I can just taste it right now. I always get that at the the Los Angeles Air or the sorry, the Vegas airport. After you get on the tram car to go back up. Oh man. Freshly baked. It made the whole week worth it. I can't believe it. But anyway, congrats. Even though it, it even though it stung for me, uh, it seemed like a very, very special weekend for a lot of people involved. You know, a lot, a lot of history was made. A lot of people. And shouts to Punk as well. That was that was a massive. I think that was probably probably the biggest, maybe the biggest dub. I think for him, he has been chasing that for a while. But you know, I was looking forward to it. It stunk. So now, what that has done is made me very, very hungry. So uh, Evo Japan is next, baby. It's still it's still uh, more than half a year away, but I'm very much looking forward to Evo Japan. So if I didn't see you in Vegas, come to Evo Japan. Trust me, it's better than it's better much 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 bigger better than Vegas and like a quarter a quarter of the price so come hang out there say what's up I host a little gathering we can go out for some drinks but anyway that's it thanks for watching I'm free I'm done like I said leave a comment let me know how was I really uh, I'm serious because I whenever I'm at Eva I want to talk to everyone I always want to like hear their experiences and everything what are they into what are their plans so I couldn't do it we can do it here let me know in the comments we're back baby I'll see you next one peace